In this video, I try and freeze a paintball in flight using speed lights. Adorama TV presents Take and Make Great Photography with Gavin Hoey. Hello, I'm Gavin Hoey and you're watching Adorama TV, brought to you by Adorama, the camera store that has everything for us photographers. And today I've come down to Driverwood Paintball Park to answer a question, which is, can you freeze a paintball in midair with flash? Now in the last video, we froze water with flash in a studio. But can you do that outside with something that's moving much faster? Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's give it a go. So the setup is this. We've got Luke inside of this lovely wooden cabin and he's gonna fire out across and hopefully I'll capture the, the ball in midair. That, that's kind of the idea and I'm crossing my fingers. Now I'm gonna use flash because we know from the previous video that flash lasts for a very short period of time and it can freeze movement. But let's try without flash first of all. Let's, let's give this a go. You never know your luck. Okay, Luke, are you ready? Yep. So what I'd like you to do is just fire across there, obviously without hitting me or any of the camera equipment would be much appreciated. And I'm gonna count you down to three and then we'll fire. Ready? One, two, three. Okay, and once more if you'd be so kind. Ready? One, two, three. Okay, well, incredibly, and by, by chance, we actually caught one but it's not frozen it's a long streak because it's traveled so far during the exposure and well, although i actually quite like that it's not quite what we're after for this shot it doesn't answer the question so the question was can flash freeze a paintball let's turn on some flash and find out so what i've got is two flash guns to cover this i've got one inside of the hut with a nice little soft box just to soften the light down and illuminate Luke. And then I've got one outside to freeze the paintball in flight. That's the idea. But with multiple lights, the best thing to do is to set them up one at a time. So at the moment, just the inside lights on and I'm gonna set my camera up here. So I'm gonna be shooting in manual mode. I'll shoot at the same exposure as we had on the previous video, 200th of a second shutter speed. Remember, it's not the shutter speed that freezes the action, it's the flash. But I'm gonna drop my ISO down to 400. Well, let's just take a shot without flash and see what ambient light we record at F4. So what we get is a pretty dark picture, but I can see some detail there. So there's something in the background. Now I need my flash to illuminate Luke at F4. So I've got my flash meter. I'm just going to pop it underneath Luke's chin there and I'm getting f5.6 so that's a little bit on the bright side I just need to drop the flash down just a little bit and I've got it down to f4 so the flash matches my camera settings and if I take a test picture here we go you can see that gives a very dramatic look that really looks moody and that's kind of the look I want on Luke now let's add in the second light and that's going to illuminate the ball, hopefully. So for the second light, I've got it set to 1 16th of its full power. So that should give us enough light to illuminate what's going on, but enough speed to freeze the ball. Remember from the previous video, the lower you set your flash, the shorter the flash duration, the more freezing and stopping power it has. Okay, so there's really only one, one way to do this and uh, that's to take some pictures. I think the chances of nailing this on the first shot are very slim, but you never know. Uh, Luke, are you ready? Yep. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna count you down to three and then you're gonna fire, again, making sure you don't hit me or any of the equipment. Ready, one, two, three. Okay, so the flash is working fine, but I'm not capturing the ball. And I don't think I can put that down to the flash. I have to be honest, I think that's down to my timing. So what we're gonna do is we'll try this a few times and we'll see what we get. Okay, are you ready? On three, ready? One, two, three. Now, part of the problem is the amount of time I've given myself. So the distance from the end of Luke's gun to the end of my frame is quite small. So that means getting the timing absolutely perfect is critical. Not easy, but it's possible. You might want to find something like a trigger trap or an IO shutter to sound trigger this. 
I don't have those, so what I'm going to do is back up a little bit and give myself a bit more room and hopefully nail that ball. Okay, here we go. Okay. Are you ready? On three. Ready? One, two, three. Ready? One, two, three. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> and we got one. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> yes, <laughs> fantastic. Well, there we go. It did work. We did actually manage to freeze a ball in flight using little speed lights. So the answer to the question, can you freeze a paintball outdoors with speed lights, is yes, you can. Eventually, it does work. What we're going to do now is to get my favourite picture into Photoshop and we'll do a bit of post-processing on it and we'll do that right now. So if you're wondering just how many pictures did I actually take until I nailed the final image, I'm not going to tell you. It was quite a few, let's just put it that way.